What is up Interceptor Squad? Welcome back to another video. As you guys can already see by the title, today we're talking push bars. So it is quite early and chilly this morning, filming this extra early today because as you guys can see they're doing some major work on my house. So before they start tearing this apart and I can't really talk, I'm going to do this early today. So um, as you guys can see, today's video we're going to be talking about push bars, push bumpers, bull bars, uh, brush guard, whatever the heck you want to call it. You guys may or may not know but there's actually quite a few different push bars out there. At the end of the day, their main function is all the same. Their main function is to push vehicles, disable vehicles out of the way, uh, perform pit maneuvers, stuff like that. So basically, I'm going to be talking about what the best push bar is for your interceptor. Um, and just to throw this out there as well, no matter if you have the police version or the civilian versions, they basically make push bars to fit your car. So you can't just go and you know buy a push bar and have it here in a week. They have to make it from scratch. I ordered my push bar a couple weeks ago and it's still not going to be here for a couple more weeks. If not, maybe even more than that because like I said again, they make it from scratch. Okay, so first off, we're going to start off with Go Rhino. Go Rhino is probably one of the cheapest push bars I've seen, and they're very, very easy to locate, meaning you can find these things brand new online um, or used on eBay. More so for the Crown Vix. If you have a newer interceptor, they're definitely going to be harder to find used. So I would definitely say you're probably going to have to end up getting it brand new. But a used Go Rhino push bar you guys can find easily on eBay for $100. You throw some fresh paint on there and the thing will look brand spanking new now go uh, go around push bars are fairly small um so if you guys have a crown vic just for reference which i know most of you guys do a uh, go around push bar will pretty much go from like here to about here on the grill of the crown vic so it doesn't take up the whole space of the crown vic grill if you know what i mean now, if you guys have been subscribers since the beginning, you guys know that my Crown Vic had a Go Rhino with fake Satina stickers on it. But yeah, if you guys are looking for a cheap push bar, something you can locate very easily, definitely go with Go Rhino, um, especially if you have a Crown Vic. Like I said, again, with the newer interceptors, it's a lot harder to find used push bars because, I mean, these are fairly new vehicles. So you're not going to find them unless you find it at a junkyard, maybe, and you just got to pray that it's in good condition. So this is more for, you know, the Crown Vic. If you guys are looking for something a little bit better, a little bit bigger, a little bit beefier, definitely go with Cetina. That is what I got for my Taurus. Uh, now, Cetina's, if you guys have a Crown Vic, again, for reference, a Cetina push bar will pretty much go from the edge of the grill to the edge of the grill. So, Cetina push bars are definitely a lot wider, um, definitely a lot wider than the Go Rhinos. For the Taurus, it's actually a little bit different. The, this, the length is the same. The Go Rhino and the Cetina push bars, the length thing is the same. But the Go Rhino push bar comes to about here. It levels out to about there, maybe the edge of the, the, the top of the grill. Uh, and the Cetina, the one that I ordered, actually comes up a little bit more. It sits up about this high. Uh, don't mind my hand either. Uh, I actually injured myself again. But anyway. Are you serious? Um, yeah, so um, Cetina sits up a little bit higher. Um, so if you guys are looking for a more beefier, a little bit bigger push bar, definitely go with Cetina. And it's pretty much the same deal. Um, if you guys have a Crown Vic, super easy to locate on eBay. I've seen a ton of Cetina push bars. Like I said again, probably going to have a little bit of you know rust here and there, but you know you you, you sand it down, slap a new coat of paint, and it's going to look brand new. And I've seen those again go for you know anywhere from 100 to 150 dollars. Brand new, they're a little bit more expensive. Mine for my 2014 Ford Police Interceptor sedan for a brand new Cetina push bar, PB400 by the way, that is the model number. Um, uh, it's the same model number for the Crown Vic as well, like I said again. And then you put your vehicle details in if you're buying it brand new and they make it to fit your vehicle. If you're looking to buy it brand new, it's gonna cost you around $350 after tax, shipping and all that good stuff. That's how much I paid for mine. So Go Rhino and Cetina are probably the two that I would highly recommend. Um, they're the most known, they're the most common I'd say. And um, if you have a Crown Vic especially, they're super easy to locate and they're super, super cheap. Like I said, again, if you buy a brand new, no matter if you have a Crown Vic or a Taurus or an Explorer or a Charger, 
um, they're going to be relatively expensive, so just keep that in mind. The next push bar is actually a little bit weird. They're cool looking, but they're weird at the same time, and that is Weston push bars. They're actually fairly cheap as well. I've seen Weston push bars brand new for like $250, free shipping and all. Um, for a Crown Victor, I mean, it, relatively all the same price, but I wish I had a push bar to kind of show you guys, um, but Weston has, they have a lot of holes on their push bar for, you know, obviously lighting and stuff like that. Obviously, there's no need for that for me because I'm not lighting, you know, putting lighting and stuff on my car. Um, but Weston push bars have a very tactical look, I guess you can say. Uh, they have a lot of holes on the side of the push bar, but the one thing I don't like about Weston is they are very up close to the actual car, which I'm not a fan of. If you guys see pictures of Weston push bars, um, a regular push bar will kind of stick out a little bit. They'll kind of have like a little base. Um, Weston push bars, you know, they're way up close to the car. They'll sit very, very close to the car. And I'm not really a fan of that. I don't really like the look of it. And Weston push bars are relatively small as well. Um, I think they're actually the smallest lengthwise. I believe they, you know, for uh, reference, they'll probably be from like where the cutouts for my um, mounts are to about there. So like this point right here, my finger is to about this point. So they're very small, they're very narrow, um, which I'm also not a fan. The bigger the push bar, the better for me. I, it just looks a lot more beefier and a lot, a lot meaner. And there's also Pro Guard push bars. I've honestly never looked into these because they are always, for some reason, they always look crooked in pictures. They're very basic. They're very um, just ugly, to be honest with you. Um, every picture I've seen of Pro Guard push bars, they're just very skinny push bars. Uh, I don't think they have like any, you know, stickers that say um, Pro Guard on it or anything. It's just like a black push bar, pretty much. So I wouldn't really recommend that. I haven't really looked into it that much. So. So the one that I personally recommend uh, through the four I mentioned is Citina. And keep in mind, if you guys want a Citina push bar, they come in two different types of material, steel and aluminum. Go with the aluminum one. Um, it's recommended when you do order. It says it's recommended, and I believe aluminum is a lot lighter. But yeah, if you guys want the Citina, it's called the Citina PB400. That is their basic push bar. Um, the PB400L, I believe, is the one that has lights built into it. It's also a lot more expensive, but like I said again, I don't need that, so... But yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video, guys. If you guys want to find websites, all you really got to do is go into Google and type in push bar for a, you know, whatever, um, Crown Vic, Ford uh, Police Interceptor Sedan, this and that, and usually uh, fleet safety websites will pop up, uh, Gauls, I believe. Um, or you guys can go check it out on eBay if you guys want to find a used one. More for the Crown Vic owners. And I'm going to end the video off here. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Uh, if you guys still have a hard time finding it, I'll provide you guys with a link. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. So I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see all of you guys in the next one.